Hello viewers, welcome to Shainu's Updates. Today we are going to learn the basics of chain and also about the types of chain used in survey. So before that let us learn about the chain. Welcome to Shainu's Updates. Thanks for the friends who subscribe my channel. Friends who didn't subscribe till now kindly subscribe. For further updates click the bell button. Like, comment and share. Do support my channel. Chain is made of what material? It is made up of galvanized iron. Okay. And uh, I am going to draw a small diagram of chain also. So that for your better understanding. Okay. This is the brass handle attached in the two ends of the chain. Okay. So this brass handle is continuing with the chain link. So this is called as link of the chain. Okay. This link is 1 meter. Okay, so this is 1 meter, 1 meter, 1 meter, 1 meter. This is 1 meter. So totally we get 5 meter. Okay. So for every 1 meter, 3 brass ring is attached. And for every 5 meter, brass tally is attached. Brass tally is attached to separate the distance. Okay, so this is the brass tally. So this is the, this diagram is the parts of a chain. Okay, which is used in surveying. Now let us see about the types of chain used in surveying. So, types of chain. There are four types of chain, okay. This metric chain is 20 meter or 30 meter in length. And this metric chain has 100 links. This interior chain is 100 feet long. Okay, 100 feet long. And it has also 100 links. This Gunders chain is 66 feet long. And this is also this also has 100 links. And finally, revenue chain. This revenue chain is 33 feet long. And the revenue chain has 16 links. These are the types of chain and also I have explained about its length. So here, this metric chain and gunders chain are used for surveying large area. This gunters chain and revenue chain are used to survey only a smaller area. So this is the basics of chain and also about the types of chain used in surveying. I hope this video helps you. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.